Earth is the third planet from the Sun, about 150 million kilometers away, taking 365 days to complete an orbit and 24 hours to spin once on its axis. Yet, standing on its surface, we don't feel that speed at all. On a larger scale, the Sun itself doesn't stand still, but orbits the center of the Milky Way, a barred spiral galaxy 100,000 light-years across, containing 100 to 400 billion stars. The Sun is about 30,000 light-years from the center, in the Orion arm. Pulled by the immense gravity of the supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center, the Sun and its planets orbit at around 230 kilometers per seconds. That path isn't smooth or flat, but undulating and spiral-shaped. One complete trip around the galaxy, a galactic year, takes about 220 million years. The Sun has existed for 4.57 billion years, making roughly 20 such orbits. Dinosaurs once ruled Earth for about 160 million years, or 0.7 its galactic years, while humans have existed for only around 2 million years, less than 0.012 galactic years. Human civilization has been far shorter still. About 4 billion years from now, the Milky Way may collide with Andromeda, our largest neighboring galaxy, which is currently racing toward us at 110 kilometers per second. Even farther away, the Milky Way is being pulled toward the Great Attractor, roughly 650 million light years away, at a speed of about 630 kilometers per second. And above all, the universe is still expanding. Galaxies more than 14 billion light years away are receding from us faster than light itself. Not because they move through space at that speed, but because space-time itself is expanding. In other words, Earth, too, is superluminally, moving away from those distant galaxies, even though we don't feel a thing. The miracle? Even though we're imprisoned in our tiny solar system, humans have patiently explored and mapped the entire universe, a testament to both our smallness and our greatness.